Hello everyone, welcome to this unboxing and review of the Anovos First Order Stormtrooper helmet based on the Stormtrooper design in the very most recent Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens. This is my very first Anovos piece, they're a relatively new company uh, and they have the license to make a lot of these Star Wars props, uh, costume parts and all that. That's very cool and I've heard very good things about them. Also go ahead and check out their website. I'm probably going to leave a link in the description. Um, their website is awesome. They have a lot of cool stuff. And uh, the entire buying experience, uh, the whole flow of it was just amazing. Uh, it's a very solid homepage, so you should definitely go and check it out. Anyways, let's just get right on with it. This is the box. It's um, standard size, I would say. It's relatively the same size as the EFX helmet that I also have in my collection. Um, and I'm just go gonna go ahead and get out the art box, so hang on. Alright guys, so here we have the art box, and as you can see it basically has the same design as many other Star Wars collectibles. Uh, both statues and prop replicas and everything. They often come with this dark uh, design here with uh, these color tones here and then of course you can see the item on the middle and everything it's pretty fun to see how these different companies all use the same standard design for star wars collectibles uh, anyways uh, we have the helmet here as you can see star wars first order stormtrooper helmet a novos down in the right hand corner um, the sides pretty simple on the back it says first order stormtrooper helmet Officially licensed full-scale replica, replicated from details, utilizing 3D scanning and references from the original piece. Adjustable headgear system and durable plastic construction. So that's basically it. Um, right, so let's uh, get this bad boy out of this box. Alright guys, so um, I hope you'll be able to see what I'm actually doing here. Um, I decided to put the camera on top here and then you can peep down into the box as I take it out. Um, let's see. Pretty basic. Um, warning, not intended as a protective device. Uh, so don't use this as a motorcycle helmet. Field of vision and hearing will be impaired. Limited ventilation airflow, never wear for a prolonged time. Uh, falling and tripping hazard can result in serious injury or death, not intended for children. So that should be quite self-explanatory, I guess, but they probably need to say this in order for them not to get some ridiculous lawsuit on their hands. So let's just get rid of this. <coughs> and there we actually already have it. It's got this bag around it. Um, let me see if I can just easily get it out now. go it's very lightweight and here we have it and it just looks beautiful um, personally I'm a very big fan of what they did with the helmet design for the force awakens because it just seems like the natural next step of the evolution of the stormtrooper so I think they did a great job with that um, I think I'm just gonna set up my turntable and put the helmet on it and talk a bit about the helmet So just give me a few seconds All right guys, so here we have the helmet on top of my turntable so I can spin it nicely for you so you can see it from all angles uh, The helmet I have here is uh, my EFX precision cast helmet based on the stormtrooper design from a new hope uh, you can tell that it has these green lenses here also, which is a unique feature of that replica. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm very pleased with this helmet here. Um, I would say that it's my, it might be a bit on the expensive side in terms of what you actually get in, in quality. Um, Anovos is making several different lines of uh, replicas. They're also making a premium line. This is not a premium line, this is more of a standard line. Their premium line is just uh, superior in all aspects, I think. They use superior materials, uh, they might be even more accurate or authentic to the original filming prop. And of course the interior will be more exclusive, just the overall feel of the helmets will be more exclu exclusive. They're making a Kylo Ren helmet and they're making a Phasma helmet and I think they're making more stuff also. Uh, a Darth Vader helmet, at least. 
Uh, but this is their standard line, and it feels like these companies, uh, Anovos and the FX, they they tend to do these um, standard stormtrooper helmets in their uh, in their standard line for the more normal consumers, I guess. And then they are also going to offer a more advanced helmet later on that is of premium quality. So the one I have here is their standard one. It's the cheaper one, despite its relatively high price. Um, and I think it looks beautiful, and I love the way that they designed the Stormtrooper in The Force Awakens. I find them to be a very aesthetic and natural evolution or evolution to the Stormtrooper design, I would say. So I'm, I'm really fascinated by it, to be quite honest. Um, the only minor issue I had when I unpacked this helmet here um, is that I noticed that there is a sm very tiny dent here on the face plate here. Um, I might contact Anovos and just hear them what they think about it, what they're going to do, if they even want to do anything about it. Um, I'm just very curious about it. Uh, it. It's not really doing anything to take away from this piece because it's very minute. You you hardly even notice and you definitely can't see it in this video. So I might just see if I can capture it on a photo instead. Um, but it's minor thing. Overall, the helmet looks beautiful, I think. Just gonna show you the interior also. As you can see, it's very simple. Um, there's a system so you can actually adjust the uh, headband uh, according to your head size. I haven't actually tried this helmet yet, so I don't know if I'll be able to find uh, a suitable uh, size for that headband, because I think I have a rather big head, to be quite honest. Um, but in any case, as you can see, it looks pretty basic. If I'm quite certain that if you compare this to one of their premium helmets that will come in the future, you'll see that the interior design of these prop replicas will be a lot more exclusive and have much more impressive padding and everything. Um, but for me, this is just a display piece, guys. I just want to put this on a shelf and occasionally maybe pick it up and um, take photos of it or let my friends try it on or whatever, take funny pictures and stuff. That's just something about having a, a helmet like this in your collection that just really stands out, I think. Everyone knows what it is and it's very rec recognizable. It's iconic. It represents the movie extremely well. So I'm, I'm still ve very happy with it and I knew what I was getting when I ordered this. I, will, I would still argue that I think the price might be a bit too high. Uh, now, just shortly, this is the EFX Precision Cast helmet. If I were to compare this helmet with uh, the new one, I would actually say that the EFX Precision Cast helmet feels like it's a bit superior to that one because it, it's heavier, the plastic material feels more sturdy and, um, well, of a higher quality. The details are also a slightly more, bit more superior, I would say, especially these microphone thingies. Um, so I would say that this helmet is superior on the exterior. If you look on the inside though, uh, as you can see here, we have a very simple padding. Again, this is also a standard helmet. It's not premium on anything, so it has simple padding. But these are just foam bits. I mean, they're glued on. They can even fall out. I, I think I'm struggling with one of these pieces falling out all the time. So despite this helmet feeling of a very high quality, I would say that um, the interiors could have been better. But it's still a beautiful helmet. I'm extremely happy to have this in my collection. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to display these two pieces. I might just switch them out occasionally, the one spot that I have inside my display. Um, but I might try and figure something else out. I don't know at this time. Anyways, guys, I think that's basically it. Um, I don't plan on getting any other helmets right now, uh, although these premium line helmets from Anovos do seem very tempting. Uh, and I'm very curious as to what they might feel like and how they compare to their standard line. Uh, so time will tell if I actually try and go down that road, but I don't think so right now. Anyways, I'm very happy that we have a company like Anovos out there doing this kind of stuff here because um, I feel more and more that EFX, even though they make extremely nice products and everything, the fact that they take so long developing and manufacturing and selling their pieces. I mean, it takes sometimes three, four, five years before you get the actual 
piece in your hands uh, and sometimes you're even in doubt that you'll ever get it so it's really nice to have a new company on the block like Anovos here pushing out things according to schedule and it's just, it just feels a bit more reliable to be quite honest and and that's really nice as a Star Wars fan that you have a company like Anovos offering all these awesome things they also do full body costumes um, imp imperial costumes and Han Solo costumes they even do uh, a, a a belt and buckle and holster for the DL44 for Han Solo. That's pretty awesome, I think. So they are really doing a lot um, to change the landscape of Star Wars filming prop replicas. And that's awesome, awesome I think. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video here. Um, I tried to keep it a bit short, but I feel like I started rambling anyways. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it anyways. And um, if you have any questions or comments, of course, go ahead and leave them uh, below. And uh, do remember to like and subscribe and everything. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.